Hey there, it's Sarah. Ever find yourself wondering if that hot girl you've been chatting up is actually into you? Like, really into you? You know, giving you those secret signals that she wants to take things to the next level? Well, buckle up, my friends, because today we're diving into the tantalizing world of female flirting to uncover those telltale signs that she's craving more than just witty banter. But before we jump in, a quick disclaimer. Every woman is unique, with her own style of flirting and seduction. These signs we're about to explore are just general indicators, not foolproof guarantees. It's always crucial to read the vibe, respect boundaries, and make sure you're both on the same page before making any bold moves. All right? The last thing we want is any awkward misunderstandings or unwanted advances. This is about enhancing your flirting radar, not giving you a free pass to be a creep. So as we navigate these enticing waters together, keep it classy, keep it consensual, and most of all, have fun with it. If you're ready to crack the code and find out if she's been dreaming about ripping your clothes off, stick with me. It's time to dive into the biggest signs she wants you sexually. Before we get rolling, for those of you looking to rethink your dating approach, why not take advantage of a free strategy call with one of our expert coaches? Find the link in the description or pinned comment. One, touching herself. First up, let's talk about one of the most alluring and understated signs of sexual interest when she can't seem to keep her hands off herself. Picture this, you're deep in conversation, hanging on her every word, when you notice her fingers gently grazing her lips, twirling a lock of hair, or trailing along her collarbone. These self-touches may seem innocent enough, but they're often a subconscious signal that her mind is drifting to more sensual places. When a woman is aroused or thinking about getting physical, she might start channeling that energy into these little self-caresses. It's like her body is aching to be touched, so she's giving herself a sneak preview of what she's hoping you'll do later. You know what I'm saying? Now, I'm not suggesting you go lunging for her at the first hair flip, but if you start noticing a pattern of these tantalizing touches, especially when combined with other signs we'll be discussing, it's a pretty strong indicator that she's picturing more than just a friendly hug at the end of the night. So keep those eyes peeled for those subtle strokes and sensual self-touches. They just might be her way of saying, I wish these were your hands instead. Two sexual innuendos. All right, guys, let's dive into the world of double entendres and risque repartee. If your flirty banter has started veering into is it getting hot in here territory, you might be on the receiving end of some seriously seductive sexual innuendos. Picture this. You're swapping jokes and one-liners when suddenly she drops a comment that's just dripping with naughty subtext. Maybe she's always been a sucker for a man who knows his way around a tool belt, or she's in the mood for something sweet and sticky for dessert. Whatever the line, the underlying message is clear. Her mind is in the gutter, and she wants you to join her there. Now, a playful double meaning here and there could just be part of her flirting style. But if those innuendos start piling up faster than the laundry on your bedroom floor, it's a pretty clear sign that she's not just interested in witty wordplay. She's imagining all sorts of steamy scenarios starring you and her, and she's hoping you'll read between the lines and make them a reality. Of course, not everyone is a master of the subtle sexual pun. Some women might take a more direct approach, peppering the conversation with references to her favorite porn scenes or most mind-blowing sexual experiences. If she's openly bringing up bedroom activities, you can bet your last condom that she's picturing you as her next co-star. So if your conversation starts sounding like the script from a late-night Cinemax flick, take it as a bright, throbbing green light that she wants to get physical. Three, finding excuses to bend or lean over. Now let's talk about body language that's not so much saying, come hither, as it is screaming, check out my assets. If you find your crush constantly finding reasons to put her curves on display, she might be trying to give you a tantalizing preview of what's on the menu. Picture this, you're hanging out, maybe playing a friendly game of pool, when she just keeps happening to drop things and bending over to pick them up. Or perhaps she's reaching for something on a high shelf, arching her back and stretching in ways that make her clothes cling to all the right places. Coincidence? I think not, my friend. When a woman is into you, she wants you to appreciate the goods if you catch my drift. She might start casually posing, angling her body in ways that accentuate her best features and leave little to the imagination. It's like she's saying, I caught you staring at my ass the other day and I just wanted to give you a better view. She's hoping you'll drink in those curves and start imagining all the ways you'd like to get your hands on them. Now, obviously, no matter how much she's peacocking, an invitation to ogle isn't an invitation to grope. But if you keep catching her in these provocative poses, it's a strong sign that she's hoping you like what you see and that you'll want to see a whole lot more. Four, sharing sexual experiences. 
buckle up, boys, because this next sign is not for the faint of heart. If your gal pal has started dishing about her bedroom adventures like she's penning the next Fifty Shades novel, there's a good chance she's hoping to add you as a co-author. Picture this. You're swapping dating horror stories and commiserating about dry spells, when suddenly she starts talking about the best oral she ever received or the magic of multiple orgasms. She's not just sharing, she's selling, painting a vivid picture of her sexual prowess and appetites. When a woman starts getting graphic about her sexual experiences, it's often a way of gauging your reaction and planting some seriously suggestive seeds. She's hoping you'll be intrigued, maybe even a little jealous, picturing yourself in the starring role of her next erotic escapade. Now, some women are just naturally open about sex and love swapping raunchy stories with friends. But if her tales are getting increasingly personal, intimate, and targeted towards your tastes, she's likely trying to rev your engine and shift your thoughts towards the horizontal tango. She might even start peppering you with questions about your own bedroom predilections, fishing for info on what makes you tick and twitch between the sheets. If she seems suspiciously interested in your oral technique or favorite positions, chances are she's mentally auditioning you for a very hands-on demonstration. So if your conversations have started sounding more like steamy erotica than friendly chit-chat, consider it a flashing neon sign that she's ready and willing to take you for a test drive. Now, if you're enjoying today's video, be sure to let me know by hitting the like button or dropping a comment. And don't forget, if you'd like some personalized dating advice, our coaches are ready with a free one-hour strategy call. Just click the link below. 5. Inviting you to her place. All right, fellas, let's talk about one of the most classic and unambiguous signs that she's ready to get up close and very personal. If your lady friend keeps finding flimsy pretexts to lure you back to her love nest, she's probably not interested in showing you her stamp collection. If you catch my drift, picture this. You're winding down after a cozy date or a long night of flirting when she starts dropping hints bigger than your grandpa's underwear. Maybe she's forgot about that bottle of wine she's been saving and needs your expert opinion or her plumbing is acting up and she could really use a big, strong man to take a look. When a woman starts manufacturing reasons to get you alone on her home turf, it's a pretty safe bet that she's open to doing more than discussing the finer points of Merlot or playing Mario Kart. She's maneuvered you into her space, where she feels comfortable and in control, and she's probably hoping that one thing will lead to a delightfully naked other. Now, an invite back to her place isn't an automatic guarantee of sex. She might genuinely want to prolong the evening or show off her new throw pillows. But if the vibe has been flirty all night and she's shooting you smoldering looks over that glass of forgotten Pinot, it's a pretty strong indication that she's ready and willing to take the party to the bedroom. So if you find yourself being beckoned to her boudoir with increasingly flimsy excuses, it might be time to grab a condom, some mouthwash, and your A-game. Just remember, even if you're rounding third base, consent is key. Make sure you're both enthusiastically on board before sliding into home. Six. Direct statements of attraction. Sometimes gents, the signs that she wants to jump your bones are about as subtle as a brick to the face. If your crush has stopped beating around the proverbial bush and started openly declaring her burning desire for you, congratulations, you've hit the flirting jackpot. Picture this, you're chatting away, maybe doing that adorable, no, you hang up first thing, when out of nowhere she drops a bomb like, I can't stop thinking about tearing off your clothes with my teeth, or, I get so distracted imagining you naked during spin class. Well, damn, how's that for a clear signal? When a woman starts putting her cards on the table with bold-faced statements of lust and longing, there's really not much room for interpretation. She's skipped right past the coy hints and suggestive touches and gone straight to the source, her raging lady boner for you. Now, this kind of brazen honesty takes serious ovaries. So if you're lucky enough to be on the receiving end of such a sexual declaration, don't leave the lady hanging. Let her know the feeling is mutual, that you've been fantasizing about her too, and that you're ready to make those steamy imaginings a reality. And even if you're not quite prepared to dive into the deep end of the sexual pool, at least have the courtesy to acknowledge her courage in putting herself out there. Tell her you're flattered, intrigued, and definitely down to keep exploring this electric connection, even if you need to take things slow. Remember, gents, a woman who can confidently own her desire is a rare and beautiful thing. When she aims that desire directly at you, it's a gift. Receive it with gratitude, respect, and if you're both on board, a healthy dose of reciprocal passion. So now that you know how to tell she's sexually wanting you, what's next? Discover the biggest signs she's emotionally invested or learn what to do when she looks at you. Thanks for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe for more.